guys, what's going on? Odom here and welcome back to episode number 93 of my level up series where I take hashtag United through the levels of the footballing pyramid. Now, as always, before we get to today's video, I really appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button down below if you are interested in daily football manager content. Let's jump into it then because we've had a mega start, unbelievable start, like way, way better than I expected. Um, We'll jump on the schedule, we're undefeated, would you believe, in the month of August. Starting off with a 2-1 win over Chesterfield, which proved a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. They really put up a tough test for us. We went 1-0 behind. Luckily though, Martin McSween again, getting on the score sheet and Foden as well to grab us the three points. Then we beat Bristol Rovers in a game where we struggled again, um, but we managed to get the job done through Hutchinson and Bidais. Getting the goals for us, coming up 2-1 victors in that game. Then we beat Wigan 1-0 at home. Hutchinson providing the um, the goal from the penalty spot. Took it well. A very, very nip and tuck game. We got a clean sheet as well. <laughs> Excuse me, which was really nice. Then a nice little 2-0 win over Wimbledon. A bit more comprehensive. Foden and McSween getting the goals. Marsden getting sent off late on, but luckily it didn't affect us in any kind of capacity, which was good to see. Sunderland 1-1, Jim Gould pulling out a late goal to seal to get us a, a point out of the game, which I think it was a fair result to be honest, it was quite evenly balanced the game throughout and I, th I, 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 I do believe we, uh, we did deserve to get something from the game. As you can see we brought a whopping 65 away fans with us to uh, the Stadium of Light, <laughs> which is just mental considering we're in the... Um, Championship, but hey, -oh. <laughs> and then we followed up with a surprise 1 0 win over Wolves. Martin McSween breaking the deadlock after 11 minutes, and we managed to hold on, defended really well. Um, after that, we were on the ropes to be fair for the rest of the game, more or less, but we managed to hold on anyway. I was very, very pleased with that surprising result. Um, and then Swansea in the last game, 0 0, another clean sheet, but a very boring game. 4,000 people in attendance or just over, which is nice. Nice to see. We should be getting, I mean, we should be getting more fans than 4,000, let's be honest, but, you know, we'll, we'll take what we can get at the moment. We've not got a stadium. We're still renting from Dagenham, um, Dagenham Redbridge. So, uh, eventually, hopefully, if we get into the Premier League, we might actually be in our own stadium at that point. <laughs> but as for the league, then, that means that we are sitting in, Fourth place, 14 points, four wins, two draws. Southampton, Huddersfield already setting the pace really, especially Southampton, six wins. Undefeated so far, looked extremely strong from the results that I've seen of theirs. Um, we're doing really well though. And I'm really, really happy. Like We're doing a lot better than I anticipated. Although there have been a lot of close games, but we've just had that little bit of quality that's pushed us over the edge, which is good to see. So we've got Barnsley today in the league and my hometown team, Prue. This will be a good test to see how far they've gone because Chesterfield put up a good um, game against us, so I am going to expect the same thing from Crew. But first of all, we've got to deal with Barnsley, so we'll get to that one now. Um, we are at home, so we play our classic 4 2 3 1, which is just coming in. Just going through Wayne Marsden. Yeah, he's not doing too bad on the fitness. Everyone's looking quite good. We've had a. We've had a an international break, so it's been like two weeks, or nearly two weeks since the last game. So everyone's looking fresh, we haven't got any injuries at the moment as well, which is good to see. <sighs> yeah, just very, very excited to carry on this season. We've started really positively, um, it's just a matter of hopefully we can just carry that through. If we can carry this form through. Put it on key highlights only. Um, yeah, if we carry on, you know, for this through to the end of the season, you know, we could be looking at playoffs, which would be something that I've did not expect. I, I'm, I'm still expecting it's going to be the we're going to get our lowest finish. Um, you know, to date, but. That sounds a bit like I'm being downbeat, but it's just being realistic because there's so many good teams in this division, like, you know, ex-Premier League teams. They've got just big budgets, man, big budgets. Like Southampton, their team is full of, like, 
I'm not joking, full of like 30 million pound players. Like, I don't even know how they went down. Must have been some terrible um, tactical kind of decisions. Like that. That's the only thing I can think of because they've got some up and coming kids who are on like, who are, well, they're not up and coming, but they're, they're still on the young side, 23, 24, and they're still just, you know, like 30 to 40 million. It's ridiculous, to be honest. <clears throat> well, it's been a bit of a stinker so far, hasn't it, to be honest? Well, that's the end of that first half. I think it's going to have to go back. Oh, we've got an opportunity. Oh, my McCain puts us 1 0 up. Let's go. Let's go. No messing about. No messing about. Corner takers. I've just changed my corner takers because they weren't um, correct. Because people have left from last season and stuff like that. So I had to reset it up as you do every season so very very nice to see Richards provide an assist is it going to be goal number two for us Richards it's the ball god damn god damn Richards is looking injured so For now, I don't really need to change too much. We're only 1 0 up. Just taking Richards off because he's injured, unfortunately. But, oh, Penna, Penna, yes. Hutch steps up. Let's go, my son. Bury it, bury it. <laughs> Sends the keeper the wrong way, gives him the eyes. Third goal of the season for Hutchinson. I don't think he, I don't think he scored that many goals last season. To be fair though, he wasn't a penalty taker last season really, from what I can remember. I think, who was it? I'm not sure who it was now. Don't know, can't remember. Cannot remember. But it's looking like a nice little routine 2 now victory. And it is! We sealed the deal. McSween, Hutchinson with the brace. Very, very nice indeed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, let's see exactly where that leaves us then in the table. 3,758 people turned up. Twisted knee, that's not too bad. We can get away with that. Seven unbeaten. We are on fire. We are on goddamn fire. Um, okay, so that sends us into second place. So we've leapfrogged Aston Villa. Huddersfield are yet to play though. Um, Southampton won again. It's just, I'm just going to expect Southampton are going to win the title this season. It's, it's looking pretty likely that that's going to be the case. With that being said, that was a quite a quick game. There wasn't really much in the way of highlights to show you, unfortunately. Other than, I guess, our two goals, which is <laughs> the main thing. <laughs> we won and scored two goals. But yeah, let's jump to Crew Alex game now. Um, do, 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 against Crew. Here we go. 4-3-3 always. Um, do, 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 let's have a just quick scan through. I'm pretty happy with that. To be fair, let's give Jono Big Boy Bosley a game. He's I've not really played him that much this season. Just don't know. I don't even know why the reason I've just not been playing him all that much. But he'll come into the fray anyway. Today. See what he can do. Well, we know what he can do. He can score goals because he was our top goal scorer, I think, last season. If I'm not mistaken, with like 20 goals, so. Mulberry. The old Mulberry, he's still up crew. He's got about. He's 
three hundred appearances for him or something. Like just that's just in the league games as well. That's just in league games. Which is absolutely fucking crazy. Here we go then, mate. He's <laughs> yeah, he is. After three minutes, three minutes, big boy Bosley gets the goal. <laughs> Henry Mayer, nice little uh, delivery into the box. Bosley attacks it. No one can get ahead on it before Big Boy. Big Boy! Let's go. What a start. What a start to the game. Um, just hit the man more, I suppose. Maybe, potentially. Have a look at their team. Some of these picture, Andrew picture, pretty decent. Dedich. Oh, it's safe to say now. I think we were uh, very much on another level than old uh, Crew Alexandra. Although Keston Andrews is quite decent actually. Brooke Tiddley is not bad. Yeah, I've got some great young players. I'll get. I'll give them that. I will give them that. But they've got a fantastic youth academy, which is something that I want to get, but <laughs> we just don't bring in enough fans. Like, and then we've, we just don't make enough money. Like, the only time we make money is through cup competitions. A bit of a little bit of a disappointing one to be honest. Poor, poor, we've let that happen straight off the kick. Maya should get out there quicker. Who was that? Marsden, was it? Or oh, Thomas? I think it might have been Thomas to be fair. Just let him get in front of him for no apparent reason at all. Rogers. 1.2 mil, damn. can do. I feel like going on key highlights just isn't making the games entertaining is it? They're going so fast. <laughs> I thought it might, well it cuts down the video time obviously it makes it a bit more concise but at the same time there's just a lot of dead dead space with no action to speak of so probably going to go back to extended um, highlights in the next episode go back to how it was because um, it's not really it doesn't look that appealing to me for you guys to watch um, yeah because there's just a lot of um, loading screens waiting for the next highlight that never arrives because obviously it was a 1-1 game but not about not a bad result, I suppose, but it's a bit disappointing that we conceded, really. The way we did, anyway, at least. It was poor defending. Um, so where that leaves us in the table, it's sitting in third, which isn't bad, actually. After eight games, five wins, three draws, still not been defeated yet, thus far. Which is nice to see. When we're going to come back, then? We'll come back at some point in October. Ipswich, Middlesbrough, Pop potentially and that looks like a good time to come back but again we'll play it by ear so if you enjoyed today's video i really appreciate it if you would hit the like button dislike if you disliked it comment if you want to comment subscribe if you want to subscribe thank you all for watching and i'll hope to see you in episode number 94 cheers bye bye